you will have a blessed, healthy, happy new year. Um, thank God that we are here today. New Year's Day. Thank God for another new year. We may not live to see tomorrow, but at least today we're here. Thank God. It is another day's journey, Lord, and I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad. It is another day's journey, Lord, and I'm glad. I tell you to be in the service of the Lord. He woke me up this morning. A lot of people didn't wake up this morning. And I'm glad. I'm glad. Of, I'm glad. Whoa, I'm glad. You know he woke me up this morning, and I'm glad. You know that I'm, I'm just so glad about it. He made a way for me the whole year, and I'm glad. I'm glad, whoa, I'm glad, you know he made a way for me, and I'm glad, you know that I'm, I'm just so glad about it. He put food on my table, and I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad. He put food on my table. Lord, I'm glad. You know that I'm, I'm so glad about it. He made a way for me. Lord, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad. Whoa, I'm glad. Lord, I'm glad. You know that I'm, I'm so glad about it. Now I can truly say this. He healed me when I was sick. <laughs> Lord, I'm glad. I'm glad. Whoa. I'm glad He healed me when I was sick Lord, I'm glad You know that I'm I'm just so glad About it I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad Lord, I'm glad I'm glad he didn't have to do it. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Lord, I'm glad. You know what I am. Just so glad about it.
Psalms, a reading from Psalms 105. Give thanks, oh give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Talk ye all of his wondrous work. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the hearts of his of them rejoice that seeks the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength, seeks his face evermore. Remember his marvelous work that he has done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. O ye see, seed of Abraham, his servants, ye children of Jacob and choose. He is the Lord our God, his judgment are in all the earth. I read to you Psalms 105, 1 through 5. May God add a reading to the blessing of reading of his words. Lord Trinity, it's a blessing to be able to be back out in the house of the Lord one more time to serve it and appreciate another year. The Lord, we just ask you to be with us. Lord, we need you in Trinity, Lord. We ask you just come on in and be with us, Lord, because we can't make it without you, Lord. We just ask you to give us strength, Lord, and ask you to just continue to bless our choir, Lord, because, Lord, you know this is your choir. It's not Trinity, right? It's your choir. We ask you just give us the strength, Lord. We're trying, Lord. We ask you to give us the strength to carry on in your name because you know what we're trying to do, Lord. And then, Lord, we ask you for all the families that represent here, Father. We ask you for all the Marie family, Lord. Yes, Lord, because I done went through with three there, right behind one another, Lord. And I'm asking you just scream me, Lord, because I'm trying to do your will. I'm trying to serve you, Lord. And then, Lord, I ask you for my family, Lord. We ask you just be with us and give, help us to go on, Lord. This Father, I ask you for my pastor and first lady. Just continue to be with them, Lord. Because without you with them, we know they can't make it, Lord. I'm asking in your name I pray. Amen. I'm just going to sing a, just a little bit of this song. Whatever you need. God's got it, whatever you need. I know God's got it, whatever you need. God's got it, he's just waiting. He wants to give it to you. Whatever, whatever you need. I know God's got it, whatever you need. I declare God's got it, whatever you need. God's got it, he's just waiting. He wants to give it to you. If you need a healing, whoa, God's got it. If you need healing, I know God's got it. If you need healing, God's got it. He's just waiting. He wants to give it to you whatever you need whatever you need god's got it good morning oh uh, y'all can do better than that just a little bit of good morning this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. 
we come and say Happy New Year to everyone that is here today. God is good. God is in the blessing business. And we have so much, so much, so much to be grateful for on this first day of the year. First Sunday of the year. Amen. Amen. Y'all need to act like y'all not tired because y'all wasn't here last night. Some of us was here last night. <laughs> Amen. It was hard to get up this morning, but we give God the praise for what he has done for us. And so we are just grateful for everything that he has done. Amen. 2023. 2023. 2023. Who would have thought? Some folks would have never thought that they would have made it, but we are here by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Our scripture for this morning, scripture for this morning is coming from the Psalms. The 24th. Psalms, 24th Psalms, 24th Psalms. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully, he will receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek the face of the Lord, Salah. It says, lift up your head, O ye gates, be ye lifted up. Ye everlasting door and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, and the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. May God add his richest blessing to the reading, the hearing of his word. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity that you have blessed us to again come before your presence. Pray for your blessings upon your people on today, O oh God, that we would be able to serve you in a manner that is pleasing unto you, O oh God. Pray that you bless each and every one that is here under the sound of my voice. Thank you for this first day of the year. Thank you for this New Year day. Thank you for those who have gathered. We thank you for those who might even be watching on today that you would bless us, bless us, bless us, overwhelmingly bless us, box. but God, that you would open doors that we may be able to please you. And God, we come to give you all of the praise and all of the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, and we thank God. And the church said, amen, 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 and amen. Do we have a morning hymn for this morning? have your hymnals page 79 at the cross could you stand with us as we sing everybody sing with us at last and my 
that sacred head for such a as I at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away, rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all day. Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. The church said amen. Before the choir comes, we're going to ask Reverend Karen to come read these few things that we have on this. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. 
This is a day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. 2023, we have crossed over into 2023. So we ought to give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. Hallelujah. God is going to do some awesome things on this year. As Pastor preached on last night, he preached about um, an open door. He preached about an open door and said, behold, God is doing a new thing. So if you believe that to be your testimony, you can come on and give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. Hallelujah. God is going to do some new things on this year. Bible says that all things are passed away. Behold, I will do something new. I will even make rivers in the desert. That's the kind of God that we serve on today. Hallelujah. So we give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. Can we just honor our pastor on today? Hallelujah. Just thank God for Pastor Jimmy Hardaway Jr. Two thank you cards to Reverend Dr. Hardaway, Lady Hardaway, and the entire Trinity Baptist Church and members. Extending our deepest thanks for the outpour of love bestowed on our beloved Valerie Taylor. We are so filled with gratitude and pray God's bountiful blessings over each and every one of your lives. To everyone who sowed kindness, be your words, your thoughts, your acts of kindness and prayers, we say thank you with love, the Taylors. Amen. Come on and give it up for Sister Taylor. She made it into 2023. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Pearl and Fagan's children, this is from Charlie Fagan, Sr., Cynthia Jones, Gary Fagan, Renwick Fagan, Thomas Fagan, thank you. Dear Pastor and First Lady Hardaway, thank you for your food, your hospitality, your programs, your service, your prayers, and words of encouragement. Mama had a beautiful celebration. The choir, the ushers, the office staff, the kitchen staff were just wonderful. We are eternally grateful. Thank you for all your love and support, the Fagan family. Come on and give it up and honor the memory of Sister Pearly Fagan. Hallelujah. She will certainly be missed at Trinity Baptist Church. Now for those of you who missed uh, watch night service on last night the few of us that was here we had an opportunity to testify about god's goodness of what he has done for us in 2022 so this is your opportunity to talk for two minutes just about the goodness of what god has done for you in 2022 so if you would like to testify you got two minutes two minutes anybody somebody carlton i see you looking at me amen Amen. She said her address hasn't changed. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Another testimony. Nobody got nothing to say to God today. Amen. All right, Pastor Hardaway, it's back in your hands. Quiet.
How many know that God has made a way? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has moved some mountains. Hallelujah. For those of you who don't know, Jacoby testified last night about a miracle with his niece. So he's able to sing like that because he does believe that God can perform miracles. Hallelujah. Let's give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. Hallelujah. We're standing here. Hallelujah. Because God certainly has made a way. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus because you are way making God. We thank you, oh God, that all power belongs to you. We thank you that you still perform miracles, signs, and wonders. Oh God, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender touch. We thank you for your power. We thank you for healing power. We thank you for restoration power. We thank you for delivering power. We thank you that all power belongs to you. We thank you that there's power in your name. We thank you that there's a Jesus, we thank you for your blood. We thank you that there's power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you that there's power in your mouth, Jesus. We thank you that you have the power to cause wars 
to cease. We thank you that you have power to heal the sick. We have, we thank you, oh God, for even the power to comfort us when we need comforting. Oh, Holy Spirit, we thank you because you are the ultimate power source. We thank you for your dunamis power. We thank you for your breakthrough power in the mighty name of Jesus. So God, I pray right now for the rest of this service that you would take over with your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, somebody came today not to spectate God, but they came today to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. They thank you today because you allowed them to cross over 24 hours into 2023. Oh God, we have so much to be grateful for. Oh God, you brought us through COVID-19. Oh God, you brought us through blizzards, oh God. You brought us through storms of life, oh God. You brought us through brokenness, oh God. You brought us through depression, oh God. You brought us from despair, oh God. You brought us, oh God, from unforgiveness. You brought us from bitterness, oh God. You brought us, oh God, from bad attitudes. You brought us, oh God, and you allowed us to cross over. So we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we thank you right now for the new thing. We thank you right now for the open door. God, we even thank you for the doors that you closed. But God, we thank you that we're pushing through, oh God, to the open door like never before. God, we're going to push past, God, negative tax toxic and people, oh God, so we can get to our purpose, so we can get to our destiny, oh God. If people want to stay stuck, oh God, let us move past them, oh God, and get what you have for us in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. Touch the Mallory family right now, oh God. I pray, oh God, for the niece, oh God, of Sister Bonnie in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for her sons that are left behind in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we still need you to heal. So I pray right now that you would go to wherever Jim may be, oh God, and cause healing, God, the virtue to flow through his body in the name of Jesus. Sister Katie, continue to touch her, oh God. And all of those who are connected to Trinity Baptist Church, oh God, who need healing. Touch the family in Buffalo, oh God. Touch those who have lost victims in the blizzard, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we know that all things, God, work together for the good to them that love you, to them that are called according to your purpose. So God, we thank you right now. Now God, touch Pastor Hardaway, God. Get this man of God preaching power. Get this man of God what he needs, oh God. Get this man of God, the anointing that destroys every yoke. So we thank you right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Now, God, touch this world, touch this nation, touch those that are in the Ukraine, touch those that are in Africa, God, touch those everywhere. Oh God, who needs a touch in the name of Jesus? And after this, God, after this, <laughs> We're going to give you the praise. <laughs> oh, you should be clapping right here. We're going to give you the praise. You should be clapping right here. Oh, we should, oh God, give you the praise. We're going to give you the honor. We're going to give you the glory. In the name of Jesus, because it's do you. God, we don't even deserve your grace. We don't even deserve your mercy. We don't even deserve your blessings. But God, because you loved us so much, in the name of Jesus, we can praise you because you are God and God alone. So God, I thank you right now for all things and I give you the praise God I give you the honor and I give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus and if you're loving people of God say amen
I wish I had a witness here today. I said, He will. I know He will. I know He will. He will help me. Oh. The Lord will help me. Amen. Amen. The Lord will help me. You ought to say like you believe that today. The Lord will help me. Yes, sir. The Lord will help me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, choir. Amen. Help us. Holy Ghost. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7 says very simply these words, For we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. I want to talk about faith walking in the new year. This has been a interesting past year the last few years have been interesting in itself in the pandemic forward as we've watched things as I said on last night happen even in the church and the falling away people doing what they want to do say what they want to say and nobody seems to have any faith anymore but I'm, I'm holding on. The song that we used to sing in church when I was younger, directing the choir, said, I'm just holding on, holding on, and I won't let go of my faith. That's what the devil wants y'all to do, to let go of your faith. And it looks like the devil is winning is winning. We don't know what the year holds for us. There are so many things that are happening and some things that are going to be sad in this year, but we still hold on to his faith. Amen. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. I've often said that life is like a game of cards. As a matter of fact, there are so many expressions that we commonly use in our everyday conversation that come from the ordinary deck of playing cards. Have you ever heard someone say that they don't want to get lost in the shuffle or ask the question, what's the deal anyway? Most of us have heard people say, it's just not in the cards for me to when things don't work out the way that they plan. When someone seems to be in charge of a situation, people say that they are holding all the cards. In some days, many people feel as though the cards have been stacked against them when nothing they try works out or something seems to be blocking their effort or from achieving their goal. If someone doesn't seem to know that what they are doing, people often say they're not playing with a full deck. When someone is confused about a particular situation, they ask, what's the deal? Your ace in the hole is another expression using card terminology to indicate a way to win or make something happen. And we have also heard people say, I need to play my cards right when they want to make the most of certain opportunities present in their life. Who would have thought that we would have been dealt the stack of cards that life has given us? Who would have thought that things would be the way they are? Who would have thought that we'd be where we are now? Who would have thought, who would have thought it would be nice if life was easy as a card game. Ultimately, the game would be over and we could start 
all over again. Y'all do know you can't start over again. I find myself sometimes playing solitaire and when I think that I'm about to lose, I will flip the cards and I will press restart and do it again, hoping that I would get a winning hand. Amen. And I'm sure that many of us can agree that life is not perfect, nor it is easy, but I can and I will contend that life is still good. If you woke up this morning, life is good. If you've had your health and your strength, life is good. That life is good because there's some people who woke up with trouble. Some people that woke up with death. Some people that woke up with situations that they rather not have in their life. If you have food on your table, it's still good. If you have the movement and activity of your limbs, life is still good. It hurts sometimes. Your limbs hurt. My back hurts every day. Amen. And, and even before I came here, I asked my wife for a pain pill. But guess what? I'm glad I still can feel the pain. Do I have any witnesses here? And we are going into the new year with some unanswered questions, uh, still bury some of the things from 2022, and I don't know about you, but I just want to bury 2022. I want to take the shovel and bury it and throw the shovel away. Amen. The question you must ask yourself is how are you going to handle it all? It's like the card game when you are dealt your hand. The question isn't always what is in your hand, but how are you going to play what's in your hand. Y'all act like y'all don't play cards, amen. How are you going to play? Are you going to either fold or are you going to play wisely? And as we move into 2023, I want to let you know that I'm walking by faith, but not by sight. Not by sight. I want to know if I have anyone here, amen, that our faith walkers. Is there anybody here with me that can say that I don't know what tomorrow holds, I don't even know what tonight's going to be like, but I'm still going to walk with my head up high. I'm still going to walk trusting in God. I'm still going to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Are you willing to trust God despite what is happening? Are you willing to trust God no matter what's going on? You, you see this height, type of walk is not just a yearly walk or a daily walk, but it has become a lifetime walk. Amen. This is more than just a walk, but it is a faith walk. It is a walk that is done by those that are in Christ. The writer of this text states that we walk by faith, not by sight. You know what the Bible says about faith? Because the Bible is a book of faith. Everything that we see in the Bible from the Old Testament to the end of the New Testament deals with the subject of faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Another version, which I just read you was the King James Version, but another version says the fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God, this faith, is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. It's our handle on what we can't see. Because there are going to be some days when you can't see where you're going. There's going to be some days when you can't see what the future looks like. But by faith, you keep on walking. Do I have any witnesses here? By faith, I still go to that job. Don't know how it's going to be. By faith, I still wake up in the morning. By faith, I still see folks that I don't know how I'm going to deal with them, but I know that God is still in charge. I, I, I can't see nor touch it, but God says it's already there. I can't put my hand on it, but God says it's already done. I can't see it, 
But God says, don't stop trying to see and just trust me. Trust me because it is going to be all right. Somebody here knows what faith is all about because you're here by faith. You woke up this morning by faith. You've made it by faith. When you didn't think you were going to make it, you, you still made it. And you are here on this day, and you can give God the praise because not only did he promise you, but you can say that everything is all right. It's all right. It's all right. I've gone through some things in my life. Can somebody help me here? Somebody's been through some divorces in their life, but you're still here. I wish I had some witnesses here. You've had folks stab you in your back. But guess what? God took the knife out and did surgery and made everything all right. Is there anybody here that says, I'm still here? Come on and help me. I'm still here by the grace of God. What, 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 sustained, what, what sustained Paul was the realization that this was a temporary and a transitory state, amen. He focused not on present, but on his future condition. Not on the seen, but the unseen. To live this way is to live by faith and not by faith. Sight. It is to live in light of ultimate rather than immediate results. It is to be obedient to God's command despite the hardship that obedience might produce. In the previous chapter, Paul had mentioned his determination to serve Christ in spite of his suffering and even possible death. He lived by faith and not by sight. But this faith was not just blind trust. He didn't just close his eyes and say, I'm going to walk. No, it was not blind trust, but it was a certain confidence in the word of God. And when you know where you are going, when you know who it is that is leading you, no storm, amen, can t frighten you or enemy defeat you. The outward man might be perishing, but what difference did that make? Paul knew that glory lay on the other side. All Paul understood was that in spite of everything that I've got to keep on moving. And can I say it to somebody today that all you got to do is keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on walking by faith, keep on the clouds may hang overhead. And some people said that even in the blizzard, they, they couldn't move because the, the snow was so heavy and blinding. But sometimes you got to keep on going. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anyone stand in your way. Stop crying over spilled milk. Stop talking about the bad stuff and just keep on moving. Y'all didn't hear what I said today. Can somebody tell somebody them? Can somebody just let somebody know that I can't stay still? James Brown said, I got, I'm on the good foot. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about here. Amen. But, but I'm on the good foot. I, I've got to keep on moving. Y'all look at me like y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to preach anyway, y'all. So, so my brothers and my sisters, understand that our life is governed by faith in our immortal hope, not by the outward sp spacious appearance of present things. So today, I want somebody to know that I'm walking by faith. I'm walking by faith. I I'm going to keep on walking no matter what. Can I get some witnesses here? When other folks stop, you got to keep on walking. When other folks give up, you got to keep on walking. When other folks turn their back on you, keep on walking. Can I get somebody here to tell somebody, keep on walking, 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 because you've got to remember that in, in, in reality, you're not really walking by yourself because God promised that he will be with you wherever you go. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking by faith because Jesus, help me Holy Ghost, is, is walking with me. I'm, I, 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 
God. Jesus is my walking partner. Can I get some witnesses here? I saw somebody uh, had asked someone where, where I was at, says, I need somebody to walk with me around the park. It, it, it's nice to have somebody with me. And, and, and everybody was looking like, I, I don't want to walk with you. And, 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 but somebody finally by just says, I'll do it. Well, I want you to know you don't have to ask Jesus to walk with you. He's already there. Ah, he's already there. He's already walking with you. Matter of fact, not only does he walk with you, he walks before you. Not only does he walk with you and before you, but he walks behind you. I wish I had some witnesses here. You heard the song say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thou art with me. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. 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 I'm walking by faith. I'm working by faith. Matter of fact, I'm eating by faith. I'm living by faith. I'm loving by faith. I'm sleeping by faith. I'm getting up in the morning by faith. I wish I had a witness today that in everything that I do, I'm going to have some faith. Yeah, faith that, that can move mountains. Faith that can open up flooded rivers. I, I wish I had somebody of faith uh, that can open doors uh, that have been closed in your faith. I said faith. I wish I had somebody that even when you're on your sick bed, uh, He'll be a doctor, even in a sick room. I, I said, faith. I, I wish I had somebody here. Is there anybody here that's got some faith? Believe that God will make a way out of no way. We are so used to writing everywhere we go. But you got to know if you're going to stay healthy. Every once in a while, you got to step out and keep on working. Well, even in my faith or even in my spiritual life, I've got to work. I'm done, y'all, y'all. I'm done. You got to keep on walking. Is anybody here? Will you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, keep on going. Say, neighbor, hang on in there. Yeah. Can I get a witness? 2023, I made up in my mind that I'm going to try. Yes, sir. I'm going to trust in the Lord, in the Lord, in the Lord, in the Lord, in the Lord. Lord. I'm done. Go trust in the Lord. I'm walking by faith. And everywhere I go, the Lord is walking right next beside me. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walking by faith in a new year. Trust in God. Is anybody who trust God? God made it fair. 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 Everything the devil tried. He made it fair. God made it fair. 
God made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. Everything the devil tried, he made it fair. Anybody believe that today? God made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. He made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. Everything the devil tried. He made it fair. Anybody know that today? God made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. He made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. Everything. The devil tried. He made it fair. I wish I had somebody here. I wish anybody. He made it fair. God made it fair. God made it fair. He made it fair. God made it fair. God made it for everything the devil tried. He made it for. I'm done. The doors of church are open. There might be somebody here today that will come while you have this chance. Tomorrow, my promise, this could be your last day. But he said, come just as you are. Tomorrow's not promise. This could be your end. Somebody that's watching us, the Lord is speaking to you, saying, give all that you have to Jesus. Give your life to him. He will open doors. He'll make a way for you out of nowhere. Everything the devil tried, he made it fail. God 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 made it fail. Everything the devil tried, he made it fail. God bless your hearts on today. We thank God. Is anybody going to walk into 2023 walking by faith and not by sight? God is able. Bless your name, God. Come on, put your hands together. Let's give God praise. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. The Bible says in everything, give thanks unto the Lord. For he has been good, he's worthy, he's mighty, he's wonderful, he's mighty hard. Bless your name. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. We prepare for our tithes, the offering. I'm going to ask Bonnie to come.
that you have done for us we thank you for this offering that has been taken in your body I just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for Blessings and glory in honor they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Just want to praise you. that has been given in your name. We pray that you bless it, God. 
as we come to remember the sacrifice that was made on Calvary for us. We remember those things that were done in the upper room. And we come and give you all of the praise, the glory, in Jesus' name, amen. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary the blood that gives me strength from day it will never, never, never lose its power. It reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest, lowest valley. I know the blood. I said the blood that gives me strength from day, day to day. It will never, never, never. Loses power. I know it reaches to the highest mountain, and it flows to the lowest valley. I said the blood that give me strength from day, day to day, it will never, 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 never lose, never lose. Never lose his power. Receive the Lord that also I deliver unto you that the same night in which Jesus was betrayed, that he took bread, he gave thanks, said to his disciples, Take, eat, this is my body which has been broken for you. It's as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. The Bible says, After they had ate, that he then took the cup, said, This cup represents, as he lifted up the New Testament in my blood. It's as often as you drink this cup, do that in remembrance of me. Apostle Paul had to re remind the church at Corinth that they need to examine himself because some of them were taking of this body and blood unworthily, forgetting about the purpose of what God said in terms of coming together and living and serving and worshiping unity. And he says, let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, he 
eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. My brothers and sisters, we have a responsibility today as we come together because he said that some of them are sick because of this and there's some that are sleeping and I believe that even so now today when we go opposite of what the Lord does, God does have his way. And so we want to remember what God wanted designated for us to do when we come together and to eat of that bread and drink of that cup. And so I invite you as brothers and sisters in Christ that if you know your heart is right with God, then you would come and that you would eat and drink of that which we have to remember what he has done for us. So I invite you to commune with us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. blood for me oh I know it was the blood I know it was the blood I know it was the blood for me one day when I was lost he died upon the cross I know it was the blood for me oh I I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, He died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Oh, the blood came streaming down. The blood came streaming down, the blood came streaming down for me. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Amen. <laughs> amen and amen. All right. This is a brand new year. Are there any January birthdays? Yes. Where? Sister Coleman. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You the only January birthday no, here? No, she's not. Kim, here. Kim texted me and said, I got to sing happy birthday to her. She's watching. She's watching. Okay, but she's, Amen. She's Sister watching. Coleman's only one present. All right, Sister <laughs> Coleman, stand, stand up. up. <laughs> We're gonna sing. Which, what are we singing? How are we singing? I don't know. It's 2023. We got a new. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. January 11th, all right. Amen. Amen. Any anniversaries? No anniversaries. Sister Williams. Amen. 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 Happy anniversary. How many years? Happy anniversary. Happy How anniversary. Many? Happy anniversary. <laughs> Ooh, 65 years. Come on, Trinity, give it up. She's been married to Brother Williams for 65 years. Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. 
praying for you, ain't him. He had to put up with her for 65 years. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So you're always putting it on the man like it's the man. Sometimes it's the woman. I don't know what y'all talking about. Ha, 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 ha. It's both? Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not about us. It's uh, not about us. Yeah. Amen. Uh, anything else we missing? Anything? All right. Pray that you have a wonderful day. Y'all don't know how sleepy I am. <laughs> sleepy. I can. My son, son and daughter asked me yesterday, I said, you go to bed at 8 o'clock? I said, I sure do. I sure do. And it's like... I got to be at church at midnight. I said, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> huh? I don't know how to take naps. He does not. I don't know. If you go give me, if you go give me a fifth, I might be able to take a nap. You going to go do that? <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Jones, you see this, right? Pastor Jones, you see this. See, but Carlton, you see this, right? You know, look. See, now, we wasn't going to bother Carlton. See, see, I didn't call your name <laughs> once. <laughs> Carlton is my big brother. Yes. All right. Amen. Let's pray for um, pray for um, our sick, our shut-in. Um, brother Jim's back in the hospital. Um, keep him in your prayers. Amen. Keep him in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers. Um, for all of our sick and shut-ins. I um, mentioned yesterday that um, I know the family very well. Um, yesterday in Buffalo that um, lost three grandchildren in a fire. Three of them are in serious condition in Children's Hospital, and the grandmother is also in serious condition in the hospital. So the six grandchildren, they were all siblings, all brothers and sisters, and three have died, three in the hospital. Um, and I don't, we don't know the cause of the fire yet. Um, known the family for a long time, and um, the, just so happened the grandfather was not home. Um, but he is also being treated for cancer, and so it's just it's a, it's a rough situation. And we asked, you know, we we, th we thought that all the tragedy was over. We looked at the people who had passed away um, during um, the blizzard, and um, it's sad because when you have warnings. And then you don't heed to the warning. I say that everyone did that. Um, but somewhere we have to take responsibility for some things we do. Um, devastated by the damage of the amount of looting that was done. Uh, particularly in Buffalo, all across Buffalo, there are some stores, some grocery stores that are in the community that have not opened yet and don't know if they're going to open back up again. As we read commentaries this morning, the Buffalo News, which is the worst person, place to read commentaries, but some people say, well, that's their excuse for leaving. No, that's not an excuse, because I tell you, if you keep breaking into my stuff, now you already dealt with theft and damages, and then people do things like that. And um, I was listening to um, Bishop Pridgen on Friday, and um, even that he was out, people were sending people to his church, even though the pipes were busted and the heat, everything was gone. And then someone posted on Facebook, well, let's go to Bishop Pridgen's house and loot his house. And what kind of people are that? And, he's, and it was spread thousands of times to people. Uh, most of you don't know that he lives in, um, he converted an old church to a house in his home, and he has different functions there as well. But how can we be so mean and insensitive where his family lives that we would tell people to go and loot the house? He said he, he went to bed with his Smith and Wesson and his Glock on one side and one on the other. We live in a crazy world. We live in a crazy world. People are justifying the looting. People are saying that, that they need to do that. Said so people um, were out of food and they needed food. But I saw a whole lot of people 
going down the street with couches, TVs. I saw somebody had a refrigerator out of Renner Center. Renner Center. Somebody said they broke into United Men's Store. They said, look for the men's suit sale. <laughs> and you laugh, but it's not funny. The banks were closed. My father's pharmacy was boarded up. He had to go to another pharmacy on medicine to get, the, on, on, get medication that he needed because the pharmacy that they go to, Rite Aid, had busted into, looted. And now all over the city you have people, guards, Do you know, can I say this, that whatever you do, you reap what you sow. Help me somebody here. The Bible says there is a process of reaping and sowing. And I believe that. I believe I can tell you stories where I've seen that happen. I've seen stuff. I've seen things. I've seen people who've done things to me and God killed them. Let's pray for our community. Let's pray for people, people simple-minded. The act of God, and I say act of God because that's what we call catastrophes, and people trying to point the finger at other people talking about you. How can you prepare for something that only happens once in how many years? I tell you, you got to trust God. You got to trust God. We got to trust God. Let's pray. Father, we come. We thank you for these your people. We thank you for all that we have done. But yet we know everything we've done is still not enough. And so we come asking God that you would help us to do even more. For you said that if you be lifted up from the earth, that you would draw all men unto you. And so we come and give you the praise and we give you the glory. Go. We celebrate birthdays. We pray for blessed birthdays. We celebrate anniversaries. Pray for blessed anniversaries. And we give you all of the praise. We give you all of the glory. In Jesus' name. And all of God's people said amen. Come on, say amen again. We love you. Pray that you have a blessed day today. Pray the Lord will be with you. And that... Y'all ready to go home. Bye. <laughs> See y'all later. God be with you. Amen. Thank you, KJ. Thank you, Jacoby. Amen. Amen. I gotta get out of here fast before my wife gets up. She gotta go to work. She's supposed to go to work. Yeah. <laughs>